the governor is seeking investment in a variety of things that will help make the lives of Pennsylvanians better and help us move forward out of this pandemic. One of the priorities he spoke about was education. And I agree, education to help provide a bright outlook for our children. Education is one of the ways we can do that. From 70 million on early ed to 1.25 billion in basic funding to 400 million in higher ed, his commitment to educating our children and providing opportunities for them has been unwavering during the course of his nearly eight years of service. We have got to increase the minimum wage. We are the only mid-Atlantic state that has not. We maintain a $7.25 an hour wage while surrounding states go as high as $15. That is unacceptable. We need to provide a living wage. I support his proposal for a reentry and recidivism programs. Incarcerated people do come out. They, there, there has to be um, some effort to make it so that, that we don't, that they are able to continue to stay home, stay safe and, and be a uh, value to our community. This budget proposal reaffirms the Commonwealth's long history as a leader for caring for its most vulnerable citizens, including children, seniors, veterans, individuals with mental health concerns and individuals with intellectual disabilities. Thank you.